วัสดีครับท่านผู้ชมผมชื่อจอห์นแดดกาและผมทำงานที่แดดกาประกันซึ่งเป็นบริษัทที่พ่อของผมตั้งมา30ปีที่แล้วที่แดดกาเราทำประกันทุกแบบอาทิเช่นตึกต่างๆบ้านรถและร้านอาหารเป็นต้นสำหรับร้านอาหารเราสามารถเซฟเงินให้ทันไม่น้อยโดยที่ไม่คาดการคุ้มครองคอนโกมาทานอันเดิมดังนี้เราก็มีบริการตีราคาฟรีและเรายินดีที่จะเสนอราคาให้ท่านดูก่อนท่านจะได้รู้ว่าแดดก็ทำได้จริงท่านผู้ชมครับสำหรับ DVD นี้แดดก็จัดโชว์ไทยของรายการโทรทัศน์ทีวีไดเนอร์วิดเบลลี่คอสตาเพื่อที่จะประชาสัมพันธ์อาหารไทยศิลปะวัฒนธรรมไทยและทำให้ชาวต่างชาติเข้าร้านอาหารไทยมากขึ้นปีต่อไปเราจะจัดทรงทีวีไดเนอร์ไปทายร้านอาหารไทยอีกด้วยนะครับในโอกาสนี้ก็ผมอยากขอขอบคุณลูกค้าทุกๆท,ท่านที่ไหว้บังใจให้แดดก็ดูแลตลอดมา and also a special thanks goes out to everyone at the association as well as everyone at the temple who helped make this show a success we thank you so much for your support and we look forward to working with you in the future thank you everybody and enjoy the show สวัสดีครับ This week on the show, we're taking you to Thailand. We're not headed overseas, but we are headed for a taste of Thai food in and around Boston. Plus, we're going to welcome the winner of the second Hood New England Dairy Cookoff and find out what her plans are for that ten thousand bucks. Jenny Johnson learns how to turn fruit and veggies into artwork, and we'll taste some donuts from Maine, and we'll cook with my buddy Jim Rogers and learn about his brand new restaurant. And then our diner. For a day, heads to Yumani. It's all next, right here on TV Diner. And now, TV Diner with Billy Costa, brought to you by Dadgar Insurance. We're going to do something uh, different on uh, TV Diner this week, where normally we would uh, showcase a particular town or uh, destination. On the show this week, for the entire hour, we are going to be focused on a certain kind of cuisine, more specifically. Thai cuisine, which, as it happens, is becoming increasingly popular all over New England. Now, before this show is over, I guarantee you, everybody watching is going to be dying to head out for some Thai food. And we're going to start with an expert. I've uh, got my friend John Dadgar. Good to see you, buddy. How good are you? Good to see you, Bill. I'm doing good. Thanks. Okay. Now I need to set the scene because it's a very interesting story. Dadgar Insurance is a, a the title sponsor of TV Diner, and by accident. Recently, Recently, we're having a conversation with your dad, Anush, and uh, and yourself, and, and it turns out you have been or had been living in Thailand for what five years? Just about five years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know when I forgot our formal greeting? Oh, สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Did I do it right? Yep. Okay, good. 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 In terms of the food, yes. Tell us what we don't know and what we need to know. About Thai food, um, with Thai food, they utilize a lot of natural ingredients, uh, herbs and spices. Um, the preparation is a lot different from other foods. Um, a lot of organic ingredients are used, and it just—I mean, the way they, you know, are able to bring out all the different tastes and um, mix and match. It's, it's really just—it's phenomenal. Okay, and we've chosen as our first stop yep. uh, a beautiful little place here in beautiful Medford, Massachusetts, and it's called Tom Yum Kum. Did Tom I say that right? Yep, you did good. Yep. And that is well the name of a famous soup in Thailand, right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. Uh, as our viewers look at the soup, tell me the story of this soup and why it is so significant. Okay. Well, this soup in particular um, is eaten all over Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, the food reflects a certain region. Yeah. But this is so good that they just eat it. Everywhere, mm -hmm. and um, I like it in particular because of its its healthy aspects. You know, whenever I have a cold or whenever it's a cold winter day, it always warms me right up and clears up my nasal passages. Talk about this dish then. Okay, this is the soft shell crab. There are mm -hmm. two soft shell crabs, uh, broccoli, baby corn, and a yellow curry sauce. And this is also very delicious. Mm -hmm. And quickly before we move on to another dish, uh, yeah. John, why do you suppose uh, Thai food is getting so popular here? Um, I think people are focusing more on their health these days. They're taking better care of themselves and. Um, you know, if you look at Thai food, it's 
you know, it's not very oily, it's mm -hmm. very healthy, a lot of natural herbs and spices. So this is the seafood hot pot. You've got jumbo shrimp, ah. you've got scallops, some herbs and spices as well. It's very delicious and this will warm you up in the winter. Okay, and yeah. before I let you go, John, first of all, I want to thank you, but before yes. I let you go, uh, you run a fish farm in Thailand yes, right now? Yes, I do, yep. I'm waiting to um, expand it right now. We're sort of in the... So you're setting place. up business, setting up shop in Thailand? I'm trying to, That's yep. how much you love the Thai food. That's what yes. brought you there, right? Yep. So hopefully one of these days you'll see my tilapia and some stores around here. All right. Well, John, thank you so much for being our expert uh, yeah. to kind of open our show on uh, Thai food my and uh, uh, Thailand. Okay, so the mission on TV Diner this week is to educate you on Thai cuisine and to introduce you to a lot of wonderful places serving wonderful uh, Thai cuisine in and around the greater Boston uh, area. In fact, right now I'm in the heart of Harvard Square in Cambridge. I'm on Holyoke Street and I'm at Spice Thai cuisine. And as you walk in the front door right away, you notice the place is littered with Zagat awards and Zagat write-ups and all kinds of accolades because uh, they do Thai cuisine probably better than most other people. And uh, you know what? They always say when you go to an Italian restaurant, if you want to know if it's a really good Italian restaurant, well, just check and see if there are a lot of Italian people eating there. Well, as I walk in here to a Spice Thai cuisine in Harvard Square, I couldn't help notice my pal Ben. Uh, Ben Morris back there. How you doing, Ben? Good to see you. Uh, he's a monk uh, who's actually uh, studying at uh, Harvard University, and this was a total accident. Uh, this was not a setup, but you have to know uh, they know what they're doing here because he just had about 15 plates in front of him. And I guess one of the traditions for the monk is that they eat twice a day, and you have one big meal a day, and he chooses, well, Thai cuisine here, spice Thai cuisine in Harvard Square for his uh, big meal, and why not? Now I'll take you through some of the dishes. Now, if you're going to break into Thai food, I'm guessing the easiest way, uh, the introduction, so to speak, uh, might be something like this. They call this their lunch box special. And it's kind of, I guess, their version of a bento box. And you've got uh, the crispy chicken here. You've got uh, uh, the yellow curry chicken here. And you've got curry puffs here. But the dish that most of us probably associate Thailand with the most around here uh, would be the Pad Thai. And I'm told by many sources they do the absolute best in New England. I mean, look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. But I want to showcase this dish here. Lots of shrimp, and it's very lightly, very delicately battered, and uh, they include a lot of the really, really indicative spices of Thailand, like the lime leaves, and then you get some peppers and some garlic, and uh, they're beautifully done. So this is something else I might want to recommend if you're just breaking your way into uh, Thai cuisine. And that is our mission here on uh, TV Diner. So another option, spice Thai cuisine here on Holyoke Street, Harvard Square in Cambridge. Now to learn even more about Thai cuisine. And again, pen and pencil may not be a bad idea because into other TV Diner Studios we go right now. Yes, uh, in reality, Thai food does have so many great health benefits. And before we get to them specifically, I want to introduce you to Chef Durham from uh, Siam First, a, a brand new restaurant uh, yes. out in uh, South Weymouth. Right? South Weymouth, yep. So first of all, welcome to TV Diner. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations on your new restaurant. Thank you. Uh, talk about the restaurant. How long has it been open and uh, what's it all about there? Not even one week. Oh, really? That yes, new? Yes, that new, 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 new. Oh, new. so let's take a look, and you can walk us through it here. Siam first. Oh, look at that, the big sign right there. Grand yes, opening. Yep. So you'll take, uh, like, a traditional New England dish and really put a Thai spin on it. Yes. So you consider that to be your specialty. Then? Yes. Okay, and we're going to look at some of those dishes that you did just that with. But if you don't mind now, uh, because we've talked so much about it, the health benefits. Now, I know you've got a lot of the herbs that I think typically uh, we'll find in Thai food. Yes. Uh, why don't you take them one at a time and tell them, for instance, is that a ginger root there? This is ginger root. Okay, so what is the big health benefit to the ginger root? The ginger root, the health part is a heartburn. You can put this one, you know, steam in the water. Yeah. You know, and put a little bit of sugar. Okay. You know, when, when you drink that one, that's very good for the heartburn. Okay, so steam it in water, clear. a little bit of sugar. Yes. There goes the heartburn. Yes. Like magic. Yes. Uh, all right, now garlic, I know, people have always said garlic <clears throat> is really good for you. Yep. Uh, now yep. you're saying, yes, why not just chew on raw garlic, right? Typically, I know I've heard stories that it's good for cancer. Yeah. And it helps chase away or prevent cancer. Yes. It's a, it's good for the, uh, the, the help for the blood pressure is something in the garlic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are those long green things there? Yeah, this one for the, the uh, lemon grass. Yeah. Yeah, you good for the husband, uh, for the um, uh, the blood pressure. This one. Oh really? Okay. 
Yeah, and this one, the the oh, the chilies, the, the chili, yeah, the chili good for the digest. You know, mm -hmm. when you eat the food already, they gotta digest in your. Oh, so it's good for digestion. Yeah, for digestion. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. guessing the chili paper <laughs> will just chase anything away. Yeah. All right, we were talking about what you do with New England dishes, and what's more New England than a good old fashioned. Maine lobster, and uh, as I look at it, uh, Chef Durham, what have you done with the lobster here, in terms of uh, the Thai twist? Uh, well, how did you prepare this? Because uh, in in uh, I thinking about in my country, you mm -hmm. know, you never have a lobster. You never find you a Maine lobster. You never lobster. find you a Maine lobster. Never, never. You know, and I use uh, the the lobster in the, um, uh, American food. Mm -hmm. You know, with the Thai herb. The Curly and lobster, it could be spicy already, mm -hmm. you know. You can make even dal. All right, enough. well, Chef, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, and you know yeah. what? You look sharp as a tack <laughs> with your uh, Siam first. And again, this is a new restaurant. You may want to check it out, TV Diner Nation. 1616 Main Street in South Weymouth. And the phone number is 781 340 3899. Hey, guys. Since we are all things Thai cuisine today, we thought it'd be interesting to learn a little Thai culture. Right now, I'm at Boston Buddha Vararam, one of three Thai temples here in Massachusetts. Every Sunday, hundreds of people come here to learn all things Thai in hopes to preserve the Thai culture. Let's go in and see what it's all about. The Thai Sunday School offers a variety of classes that are taught by volunteers. People of all ages come to learn the Thai language, culture, arts, and Thai customs. The classes include Thais and non-Thais as well, so everyone can learn traditional Thai dance, Thai music, religious education, and even Muay Thai, their martial arts. And now I'm in the kitchen area where they'll prepare some wonderful Thai food in between the classes. After lunch, it's back to class. And while the classes are taking place, the women spend time fruit carving. Okay, well, it looks like I need a little practice. Historically, fruit carving was done when preparing food for the royal family members in Thailand. But the art has now spread throughout the whole country and has become popular in Thai restaurants in America as well. While the taste of Thai food is very important, the emphasis is also placed on presentation. Good Thai food should make you hungry upon seeing it. And today I got to leave Boston Buddha Vararam with a beautiful fruit carving. Now the public is welcome to come here on Sunday. We're here on North Road in Bedford, so make sure to check it out to learn all things about the Thai culture. Boy, they're just banging out the hits there at the temple. Uh, boy, did Jenny look good, too. Hey, hey, got to say hello to Joe Piantadosi. Piantadosi Baking, where quality is and always has been and will be the tradition. Hope you're hungry, because it's time once again for this week's Piantadosi Piping Hot Spots. Oh, we've got some hot spots, too. Pan Thai, an exciting new authentic Thai restaurant in Boston. You can choose from an extensive menu, too, and make sure you save plenty of room for something sweet because Pan Thai offers 10 delicious desserts. And don't let first impressions fool you. Big flavors are hiding behind a very unassuming exterior at Krua Thai Restaurant. It's in Buzzards Bay on the Cape. Krua Thai, worth the drive from anywhere in New England. And perfect for eat-in or for takeout, Tom Can Cook in Waltham. A TV diner fave for Thai cuisine. How do I know? Because, well, we've already given them, uh, given them a solid gold plate. Whether it's dinner for two or a fully catered function, the team at Tom Can Cook is a best bet. And tucked just off Route 2 in Lunenburg, Bangkok Hill, serving up some great Thai food. Authentic recipes make for a menu you simply don't want to miss. Add in some daily lunch specials at bargain prices, and you've got one of the best dining deals around. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TV Diner. I'm Billy Costa, and uh, the focus of the entire show this week is uh, Thai cuisine. And uh, we're here on Com Ave in Boston at uh, Brown Sugar. You walk into the front entrance here, you see the accolades, everything from Best of Boston magazine to the improper. The Zagat is all over it, and so now is uh, TV Diner. And I should probably mention the king of Thailand, as it happens, was born 
in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And uh, we've got a guide, an escort, if you will. It's our good friend, uh, John Dadgar. Good to see you, buddy. How are you? Good to see you, boy. Thank uh, you. And uh, John, well, has lived in Thailand uh, for five years, and you've got yes. a fish farm there. I do. Uh, so we're going to use you as our expert, if you don't mind, John. Now, I hear so much about the Thai tea, and this is it right here. Yep. It's beautiful to look at. What's going on in this glass, though, John? Oh, okay, so we've got ground tea leaves from mm -hmm. Thailand, mm -hmm. um, half and half, and sugar. Oh, that is good, and, and so colorful, too. Uh, all right, but talk about Thailand, John. You've been there for five years. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you fell in love with it. Why should we love it? Um, well, with regards to the show, it's got a rich culinary tradition. Mm -hmm. I mean, Thailand, what it's done with food, I mean, I would, I would you know, compare it to, to Italy of Europe. It's, mm -hmm. it's really the Italy of, of Asia, in my opinion. They're able to grow and just make everything imaginable, and um, it makes for some, you know, delicious concoctions. Yeah. And they've got some beautiful beaches, I understand. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How's the fish farming? Pretty good. Fish farm is going okay. okay. Yep, fish farm um, is going okay. And uh, brown sugar here on Com Ave, uh, a lot of people think of this place as, well, one of the best places to go for the introductory course, if you will, the Thai cuisine. A lot of people have been converted to lovers of Thai cuisine here, and uh, obviously the food looks delicious and a really nice presentation. John, what is this over here? Marmaid chicken. I mean, it's sliced pieces of chicken wrapped over asparagus. Well. And obviously plenty of herbs and flavors spices, and spices. Yes. How about here? What's going on? Okay, this is called the Three Stooges. It's got Get it? <laughs> yep. For its ingredients, so it's got uh, chicken, beef, and shrimp. And mm. so those are all mixed together into one uh, you know, nice dish. And how about this one here? Okay, so this is, is the, avo the avocado dancing that I heard it's, all about? It's yeah, the avocado dancing. So we've got avocado, uh, some fruit, as well as some rice. Mm. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, and the portions just look gigantic. Yeah. Yeah, very generous portions. So reasonably priced, yep. or as we like to say, approachable. Yes. Uh, and uh, great portions. And again, it's uh, brown sugar right here on Comab. We're almost right in the middle of uh, the BU campus. All right, well, listen, John, thanks a lot. Yeah, okay. And when you get back to Thailand, you will say hello for TV Diner. I sure will. And by the way, hi to your, your dad, Anoush, okay. who happens to be Dadgar Insurance, yep. which is, well, the title sponsor of TV Diner. We love him as well. So TV Diner continues its tour of uh, Thai cuisine. And by the way, I hope you've been learning along the way. And uh, we made our final stop uh, here in Boston on Boylston Street and in the middle of a bunch of different college campuses. It's a place called uh, Pad Thai Cafe. And it's always crowded. It's always busy. And people are always on the go. That's how the place is designed. It's very quick. It's very affordable, and it's very good. The way you do it, you walk in, you go right up to the counter, you tell them what you want, you sit down, you wait until they call your number, you go up, you grab your food, you grab your fork and your knife and your chopsticks or whatever you want, you come down, you sit down, and you take it to go with you. Pad Thai Cafe, you're going to love it. And again, very affordable. Let me take you around some of the food, if you don't mind. Uh, this bowl, when I tell you, has everything you could possibly need in uh, lunch or dinner. It's one of the Tom Young noodle soup and uh, it's loaded. It has roast pork. It has ground pork. Look at this. That's a shrimp ball right there. This one here, that's a fish ball. And uh, they've got fish cakes and all kinds of noodles and Thai spices. And it's just all in the bowl for you to enjoy yourself. You dive right in, you mix it up, and down she goes. This is the typical Pad Thai, and it's got the wonderful Thai spices you know and love. And of course, you can get your crispy chicken. In fact, this is one of the award-winning dishes here at Pad Thai Cafe uh, because they use some chili sauces, some pepper sauce, got a bit of a kick to it, but that's the way you love it. Pad Thai Cafe, I hope you've enjoyed our lessons, our instructional, if you will, on uh, Thai cuisine all over the greater Boston area. I know I did, and let me tell you something, I have had some great food. So when you go into any of these places we've introduced you to on the show, make sure you tell them you're ready for Thai and TV Diner sent you.